Hey guys, and welcome to today's tutorial, how to install PlexPy on your Plex Media Server. First off, you'll need a 2.7.10 version of Python. I'll uh, have all the links in the description of where to download these places. To follow this tutorial, just follow all the default paths it installs into, and everything should work properly. Okay, once Python is installed, what you want to do is install git. Once again, the download link will be in the description. Okay, once git has installed, what you want to do is do git GUI here and clone existing repository. And the source, source location should be this link here. Once again, the link will be in the description. And then create a new folder here. Oh, that does this every so often. I'm not sure what causes it. But if you do that, it fixes it. And now you just have to wait for PlexP to install itself. Just close that window and then go to the go to the document that you just created and now run it to check if it's working. Pick your browser you want to open it up with. And now we're in the setup menu for Plexp. Okay, so I'm good. So just go next. So username and password. I hope I forget to blow this out. And then you press authenticate. It'll fetch the token and once it's successful, just go next. And now you have to pick your host pretty much. So pick your computer. I have multiple on this network. So I'll pick the right one and verify it. If it's found, it will show up there. And then monitoring. I recommend just keeping this all default and notifications, unless you want to be annoyed to hell by it, I'd leave them all off. And if you use Plex Watch before, you can import it here. And now the scene, the setup is complete. You can see what's on this server. Well, not much, just for stuff I don't like transcoding. So this runs every time you click on it. Now to make it so it automatically starts with the computer. All we have to do is close PlexP, create it. <coughs> Sorry. All we have to do, create shortcut. Get rid of that. And then properties. And then change the target and the target and start in. So I've got them room down here. So target. Should be targeting uh, Python and start in Python. So if you change where your Python installs, you would want to change this to accord with that. So apply. Okay. Now we go oh, forward. There we go. That's the right one. And now we just drag this over to here and then that's now complete and now that will run every time the computer starts up so you don't have to open it up each time you log on and then log back off okay thank you for joining us today like and subscribe if you enjoyed it 